What went wrong? Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So I want to jump on and talk about this topic here, uh, what dropped in. Um, somebody was talking about, you know, as far as a relationship. Now I've been saying, you know, from the reading that I got uh, for this year, which I did at the beginning of, towards the beginning of the year, um, the reading spoke that we were going to be, you know, shifting and evolving more towards consciousness, love, more authentic, more meaningful relationships and things that we really want versus um, things that maybe we're just going through the motions on and just because just to have it, right? So just to have a relationship, just to have this because of this and this and this, my neighbor has it, right? And it's so we're more in alignment with truth, love, authenticity, and so that's the direction we're going into this year to bring up more of what that is, uh, to look at it, to really contemplate it, and to bring that to the forefront and making those decisions. Now with that, of course, in order to do that, you have to have the shifting in the falling away of those things that don't align with that, right? Because it's, everything's all about alignment, right? What doesn't fit into the box doesn't exist anymore. And so that has to go out because if we're in alignment with what's more wanting that's uh, authentic, have more meaning, being more true than things that aren't are going to fall away, right? And so that may mean your relationships are falling away, your jobs are falling away, you know, it doesn't make you happy anymore. And so you have the awakening, which is, oh, I'm awakening to this, right? And it's like, oh, this relationship isn't the same. What happened? What went wrong? Right. And this happens all the time. It's not just now. I mean, this has happened throughout eons because this is a shift in consciousness, the awareness, right? Thing is, a lot of people aren't aware of it, right? And they are like, oh, well, what went wrong? Where did it go wrong? I don't know what I did. Blah, blah. Okay, so consciousness is seeing from itself, from that perspective of where it is on the timeline, what we are wanting to create in our lives, right? And are we creating from the separateness or in alignment with truth, which is source, love, authenticity, right? And so, of course, we can create whatever we want, but is it true? Is it, or is it an illusion that we're creating? Because we can fit anything into the box that we want. It doesn't make it true. And so we're not seeing it as it truly is, if that makes sense. Where It's false, but it's appearing true because that's where we are. I want a relationship, and I'll do anything to get it. And so I will sacrifice myself in doing that, or I'll make this person fit into my box and so I'll have the relationship with them because that's what I want, right? Which is also sacrificing ourselves <laughs> from that perspective, right? And so nothing really goes wrong because everything is right, everything is perfect. Whenever you are separate from the truth, authenticity, source, one is love, you have the backup plan, which I did a video on that. So we have that fitting in there in the box, in the cup, whatever you take out, which is your separateness. So check out that video to kind of put it together, right? So from that perspective, so say you're wanting a relationship and you're getting into a relationship because you have your own perspective of a relationship, but they are just being who they truly are. And so, so are you, but your perspective of them is what you're seeing about them, which is within them, right? And so that's the part of you that you're seeing, but you're not always seeing the whole version of them. You're just seeing the part of them that you're seeing, which is relating to you back and forth that you're being in that perspective. So they are being who they truly are, but you're only seeing a part of them, what you want to see in them. And you're not seeing the whole of them because they have other aspects other than what you are seeing. It's a projection of reality, right? That we're seeing from in our perspective because what I see about a person is going to be different than what another person sees about that person. And so they're going to show up to different people uh, based on where you are, right? Because you're only gonna know that person from your own perspective, whereas another person's gonna know them from a different perspective. And what we're projecting upon them, and we think it's us that's seeing from that point of view, but it's the awareness of itself that's seeing from, its, from where it is that it's being, right? And so the creation of all existence is from that perspective where you are on that timeline, if that makes sense. And so when we're seeing from that, and I gave, I did do a video on that, you know, as far as, so how are you showing up, right, in the world? So to include that, to make more sense of it, so say a person, Joe, 
right? He goes to work. At work, he's showing up as another person at one in one way, and everybody there sees him from different angles, perspectives, right? Joe goes home. His family sees him from different perspectives because you have the perspective of the child, the father, the the, the wife, or the the um, cousins, or the the mother, the father. Everybody has a different perspective. So there's different aspects of that one being Joe showing up at different realities for other people, though maybe they're not acting in that way, but if they're not aware of their own consciousness, their own awareness of who they truly are, which is source, and they're going to act in a way that coincides with that person who's seeing and reflecting from that perspective. So then Joe goes to his friends, right, and hanging out with the guys. <laughs> they're going to show up in a different way. And so that will be that enterprise, right? And so they're all going to see him from oh, I like Joe because of this, and I like Joe because of that. And so those are all aspects that Joe um, has within himself that they like, that people around him like, your environment, right? And so you have all these different things playing out at all different time frames, right? And so one of his friends might like him because he likes baseball, or one friend might like him because he drinks, or one might like him because he smokes. But if he didn't do any of those, right? If he wasn't any of those, he wouldn't be in alignment to those people, right? They wouldn't have, he wouldn't have that attraction. It wouldn't come to him, right? And so all that would fall away. Like if he was to stop smoking, he and that person who smoked that had that in common, their relationship would end. Cause they don't smoke anymore. Eh, you know, <laughs> it's attraction, right? It's our alignment, right? <laughs> and so, um, all that perspective. So when we get into a relationship, and so this was the concern of the person, and they were like, well, what went wrong, right? So she was in alignment with that person. They were just being who they truly were, but she made it out to be what she thought it was. And so, well, why am I being the one that is always, it's more one-sided for me, and they're not reciprocating what it is that I'm giving, right? Because she's coming from a different perspective and that's what she wanted, right, in, in this person. And so it's basically showing her with that falling away, she's now becoming awake and aware of actually what's happening. She was projecting onto that person, right, that that's what she wanted, but now she's becoming aware of it that it's not like that. Right, which is awakening up, which we're going through, to find something more in alignment with what is we really want, right? And so she projected upon that person, like she was trying to make it more than what it was, right? And so although he was just being who he was, and you know, just because she wants something more than what he wants doesn't mean he has to do that. So she was projecting upon him. And so she was willing to sacrifice herself to give more than he was given to her. And so now that she's out of the illusion, waking up to like, why is it, why, what, what went wrong? It never went wrong. It was always right. It was always perfect. We choose to see it in a different way than what it actually is, if that makes sense, right? And so that part of a channeling came in, right? So <clears throat> a lot of times we... Um, we have a lot of illusions about relationships, like for one, you know, if it's our kids, we may see in, you know, a lot of that goes along with, you know, what we're going through now, you know, like gender and things that we want them to do in their career, you know, and as parents, of course, you're going to get upset and mad because they don't fit into your box, right, of projection, right, and your reality of what you think it should be, because you're not allowing your child to be who they truly are. And that is conflict that creates suffering for not just you, but for your children. And so part of the authenticity is coming up at this time so we can actually see it. And when we are a parent, of course, we want the best for our kids, but we don't always know what's best for our kids because we don't know who they truly are, right? Or why they're here, or what they're supposed to be doing. But we think we do because they're our kids, but they're not really our kids. Uh, they're divine beings. They're source, right, in a human body, just like you are. And so you've had your journey and your role and your play and what you're wanting to do or create in your world. So we don't want to project that onto our kids because we don't know why they came in, their soul came in, uh, and what they're supposed to do and the way they're supposed to live their lives. But we try to project that onto them. And when they don't show up as we 
uh, believe that they should, then we get hurt, right? Because that's our own fault, right? We shouldn't be projecting, projecting onto your kids. We should be raising our kids to align with who they truly are, why they came in, what they're supposed to be doing, what their soul's wanting to be doing, because they are souls in human form. We're not humans owning or belonging to another person, right? And so that goes into, like, for instance, you know, if we are in a relationship, we don't own that person. We're not meant to be together forever with one person forever, right? When we die, we don't, we don't have those relationships like that. That's only here for the play. And they're not all forever either, right? They fall away because where we are, we're evolving and growing. And so they shift out of our consciousness, our awareness, because we're, never, we're not in alignment with that anymore. Or we're waking up and seeing the true self of what was our illusion, like I just talked about. So we're not always, but we always attach to, and we always believe that, you know, oh, I'm going to marry this person. I'm going to be with them forever. And they're mine. <laughs> you know, and we don't own anybody. We don't own our kids. We don't own our relationships. And when we can do and understand that, we can evolve and be together uh, with that person in a better relationship, right? And have more openness in our relationships, not control and ownership over another person. That's slavery, right? But a lot of people are under the impression, and that part of that is because of religion. You know, that's what they're uh, brainwashing and teaching people, that we own them, right? And that we're meant to be like that. But that's not how it truly is. And that's only for here. When we go over to the side, that's not the way that it is, right? And so if you are aware of, and I can have this understanding because I've been to the side, I had the near-death experience. And so I understand it from that perspective and this perspective, right? And so why would you, for me, why would you even want to do that here if it actually doesn't exist? It's part of the illusion. It's part of the experience, right? But when you have the awareness of the other side and you're awake to it and understand it, then it doesn't exist over here for me, right? And so I understand that. Um, but if you're awake, <laughs> uh, you know, you have one perspective. If you're not awake and you don't have that understanding from the other side of how it actually exists and it's only here for the play, then you're going to be in the illusion of it, right? And so that's what brings suffering is when you're in the illusion. Right? And it's not until you wake up out of it, but as we are say, as we're going, like I said, uh, more into the higher conscious realm, uh, which is more in alignment with source, which is the other side, uh, and having that awareness known, which a lot of us are waking up to at this time in this moment uh, of existing, uh, you know, uh, we're able to see and understand it from that perspective. Right? But again, you know, we don't we don't own anything. Um, on the other side, we don't, we, you know, these things just don't exist, right? And so from that perspective, if you can see it, it kind of loosens the reins of ownership and um, mine, you know, me, ego. And I want to bring that, this point into, because from that point of view, I want to share, you know, that's how it was before religion even took place. Right. We we had that knowing we had that understanding and that's how it was. And though then something shifted into where control and suffering, you know, all that wanted to start taking place. And so religions, you know, that's the wrong way of being existing. And so you have to have a partner and you have to get married and have to eat in church and you have to do this and you have to do that, which was part of separation from source. Right. The unconscious version of self started coming in and forming and taking place, creating all these belief systems and religions and false teachings, right? And so of the awakening that we're going through now is shifting all that out on all different levels of consciousness and awareness, right? So from the projection of self, realities onto others, uh, that really isn't. And so we're always seeing others as they truly are. It's our perception that's not seeing it from that point of view. And so a lot of people will suffer because that they're looking at it from a point of view of beliefs, the illusion, the unconsciousness, right, um, of what they believe instead of what actually is true, right? And so as I mentioned, as we're going forward um, and we're waking up, you know, all that stuff's going to be falling away, right, going back to how it used to be, right, before they started with all this laws, regulations, you know, you have to be in a religion, <laughs> you know, you have to follow this and follow that. 
And so on the other side, you know, we don't have the attachments, you know, we don't have the ownership, like you own, to, you, you own, uh, I own you, you know, you're my, my uh, husband, my wife, my child, right? It doesn't exist like that on the other side. Um, we want to believe that, that when we're done here, that we're meeting up with our loved ones on the other side. And a lot of people, you know, don't want to um, accept that, right? But when we are shifting into the other side of the conscious, we don't have that over there. We have who we truly are, our existence, what we took up, all our different lifetimes. Um, however, because we have different lifetimes, we're not always somebody's wife or husband or child, right? We have different forms. We're a soul a spirit, right, that takes up the human form. And it's just for this lifetime here that we're playing out these roles, that we give ourselves an identity, a name, um, and then get married. And it's a play, right? And so the more that you can wake up from that realization, the less suffering you're going to have, right? And that's the illusion, right? So the illusion creates suffering, right? And when you're not seeing it as it truly is, which is on the other side, right, that's what keeps you, that's the barrier that keeps you from the other side and, and the knowing is to live in your illusion, your belief system, right? Your, what you're being taught from your environment and what you're signing up for, right? And that keeps you from the awakening, right? And the trueness. But it's the illusion that we're seeing, you know, on our relationships on many different levels. You know, we don't have the, um, the awareness that we're male or female, right? We don't have gender, on the other side, we have aspects of self, but we don't have gender. We have because that's the body. Um, that's what fulfills the role of reproduction, um, and so that's the only reason and purpose for it. It's not who we are. It's not our identity. It's not our form. And so when we are looking at you know the, the conscious awareness of who we are based on our uh, like our religions or belief systems or our gender, it doesn't exist on the other side, right? And that's coexisting with the ego and the belief systems here in this realm, which is the physical form, right? Not the beyond form. So when we take up the body, that's what we exist in because then we become separate from, if we're taking up and not staying true to ourselves, then we are in existence of form, which is relatable to the existence of our experience from that point of view, right? And so from there, that point of view, we take up the projection of self, which is a realization reality of who we believe that we are, right? So, and that takes us back to what I was talking about, you know, as far as, you know, you know, what's the realization, what went wrong, you know, when things are being wiped away from the illusion and then you're seeing clearly, right? That's the soul, that's the source coming back through, through you, wiping away the illusion, which is to help you. And so a lot of people look at the awakening is a bad thing, but it's not. It's, it's there to help you to see the truth, right? It's our illusion that's projecting on whatever it is that we're seeing it as, right? That's not true. So we're living in the illusion based on where we are um, and our facts and our beliefs and things like that. But it kind of says here um, in the channeling, you know, um, it's actually happening, you know, for you to, um, to help with awareness. But the transition from the illusion to the awareness and awakening is not an easy one, right? And that's where a lot of the suffering comes up, the realization like, oh, my God, you know, or, you know, because you have, when you have the awakenings from certain situations that you believed it was, you have the shifting out. And so that brings the suffering. So if you have a relationship that you're shifting out of, you know, of course, you're going to have the emotions, the feelings you know, the anger, the hatred, fighting, or whatever it is that comes along with it, you know, because you yourself are waking up out of it. And I went through that, you know, as my awakening. And so I have the understanding of that as well, right? And so the purpose of it is for freeing you from the illusion that you no longer have to go through because you have the awareness, right? That's bringing itself forward for you, right? So it is for you. Nothing ever goes wrong. Nothing is not, not right. Everything is purposefully created and in divine manner as the way it's meant to be. And so light is being shed upon you so you can see it from that perspective, right? Which is the light of source, love, happiness, joy, bliss, and which doesn't exist that you're wanting to experience in life is going to shift, right? And 
to carry that out, we do have to go through transition. And so the transition uh, along with that comes suffering. So I'm going to read this channeled statement here. Uh, so there is nothing that is not being, that it isn't being. It is all being what it is being. It is that which we see it by, which is the truth or the illusion, what we make it up to be. Right? And so from that point of view, you know, applying that to your life, you know, how we view things that we're seeing it from, which actually isn't existing, but is existing as itself. So a tree is a tree, grass is a grass, plant is a plant. But if you make that tree out to be your relationship, then it's, that's what it's going to be for you. But yet the tree is still just a tree, right? And so it's what you make of it, your projection of self, your reality, your re relationships, or how you perceive certain things to be. And when we have a relationship that we're wanting more out of than what it is, we tend to be and put ourselves in that perspective of more than what it is, right? And so it's a reality of our illusion that we're, we're seeing it from and having the experience, whereas when we are waking up, we're actually seeing the truth, right? And it may be different from what you viewed it as, right? Which is the suffering, right? When that comes to an end. So nothing went wrong, everything is right, even in the awakening, right? And so it all has purpose because then you get to choose something more in alignment with where you truly are and what you're wanting, right? Because if you're no longer seeing from the illusion, which is your own creation, you are either creating by the illusion or of the truth, right? And so you can be more in alignment with who you truly are and what you're wanting to create, which is more in alignment with where you are instead of illusion, which is kind of like forcing something to be that actually isn't <laughs> only in your awareness right so hopefully it helps um to and i can try to clarify that a bit more um, if you need um, also setting up one one-to-one -one sessions um, i do do coaching sessions um, as i mentioned i do have a bachelor's degree in nutrition i do have the master's in counseling so i do do uh, you know one-to-one -one sessions and life coaching uh certi certifications um, so I do have that. Also, the channelings come in to help bring in higher guidance for us during our sessions. So if you find that helpful, book a session. You can reach out to me. I have a website. Everything will be posted below. And then also post some questions, you know, down below so I can answer those uh, for you. Happy journeys.